Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. And we're going to be reviewing today Time of the Twins, book number one in Dragonlance Legends by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Maybe you saw my reviews of the original Dragonlance trilogy right here. If not, go find them. I express my love and appreciation for this series, man. I, I started reading these things when I was a kid. And at one point in time in my life, I would have to say these three books right here were my favorite three books of all time. They were just freaking awesome, you know. The Larry Elmore covers, all that. Speaking of Elmore covers, we always review the covers of all the books first because I love graphic design, I love book cover illustration, and we get another great Larry Elmore painting for the Time of the Twins with the Dragonlance logo. Great job, Larry Elmore. And then he did book number three of the Legends trilogy and book number four also. Dope, dope paintings, man. Can't go wrong with Larry Elmore. You just can't. I mean, he did the original Dragonlance artwork, which we all love. And I don't know why the, they changed the cover art on these books. It was a mistake. The original art by Elmore was the best. You know, I have met both Larry Elmore and Tracy Hickman numerous times. In fact, uh, you know, I always show off my uh, signed books, signed by Elmore and Tracy Hickman. In fact, maybe you, some of you remember my story when uh, I took Larry Elmore, the artist, on a three-day trip of southern Utah. We went and visited Archer's National Park. We went and visited... Um, Zions and Bryce Canyon and a bunch of stuff down there and man we all we just had a blast taking photos and and things like that you know hey like I said I since I've been published and and and, and I used to paint magic cards and I used to paint I used to do illustrations for Dungeons and Dragons and I got to know a lot of these people so and I and I'll name drop I'll name drop like a motherfucker you know you people know that I will do that I will do that I ain't ashamed. I ain't ashamed at all. Yeah, me and Larry Elmore, we, we're we vacation buddies. We're vacation buddies. You know, I still have not met Margaret Weiss. Met Tracy Hickman a whole bunch of times. He lives in Utah here near me. Never met Margaret Weiss. But, well, you know, hey, whatever. Let's get to the book. I have to tell you, that when I was a kid, these were my favorite books. My favorite artist, Larry Elmore, did them. And it's just been an honor to meet the author and the writer and the illustrator in my later years and hang out with these people and all of that stuff but i gotta tell you back in the day when i was just a kid i never believed any of this would happen that i would be an author and that i would meet my fa my my favorite authors and so man i just thought the i put these people up on a pedestal i still do and i did i these books this second trilogy of legends books was the most anticipated thing in my life I knew it was coming out. I knew they were going to do another trilogy, and I waited, and I waited, and I was, it was like, it was like the first, you know how kids used to wait for Harry Potter, or or whatever kids, or Twilight, I don't know what they wait for now, but when I was a kid, it was Dragonlance, it was the second Dragonlance trilogy that I waited for. And man, when this book came out, I gobbled it up, I gobbled it up, and I loved everything about it, it just heightened the experience of the first trilogy all of our main characters that we love are back you know especially and then we get new ones like Crisania and then Raceland and, and Coromon and this book this second trilogy is about Crisania Raceland and Coromon the two twin the twin brothers from the first trilogy the mage Raceland and the barbarian fighter Caramon who you who you know the Arnold Schwarzenegger looking fighter and then Raceland the waif the gaunt the sickly wizard twin brothers this is what the second 
This is what the second trilogy was about, was those twins and their big dilemma. On top of that, we get a lot of time travel, and we get all of our favorite characters are back. Tannis Half-Elven, Tika Wayland, um, you know, Tasselhoff Burfoot, Dalimar, Kitiara, all of the people that surround this Lorana. They're all in this book, and plus we get time travel. This book is about Raceland and Karamon and Kitiara and Tasselhoff Burfoot time traveling back to before the Cataclysm. Now, the Cataclysm was like this big Armageddon event that um, was in the history, and that's one thing that's kind of overlooked about this series is just the deep and rich history and world building that Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman created with these Dragonlance books. A lot of people are like, now oh, these are just simple little fantasy novels. They're just like Dungeons and Dragons quests written down. But no, I mean, the actual lore and legends and history and world building that was put into and the thought and effort that was put into the, these first three books, we get a history and a world that's, I'm going to say, and this will be controversial, but it's every bit as interesting and, and um, dynamic as even Middle Earth and what Tolkien did. Even that's though even though Tolkien is the master. He is the master, folks. And all fantasy worlds stem from his, including Dragonlance. But when you read behind between the lines of these Dragonlance books, you get so much great history, which one of the things in the in the Dragonlance history was the Cataclysm. And now some of our characters are transported by magical means to a time pre-cataclysm and with all time travel stories that creates just an, an enormous an enormous sort of time space continuum uh problem and so things that they do might affect things that have happened in this other trilogy and that's where the beauty of this comes in because now we get even more world building and we get even more stuff happening and, and by and large these books the reason they were so popular was not because of the Dragonlance world or any of that it was because of the characters we loved Tannis half elven we loved Tika Whalen we loved Sturm Bright Blade and Flint Fireforge and Tasselhoff Burfoot and the Cora and the Coramon and Raceland the twins and these books were about family these books were kind of like the Fast and the Furious you know how Dom in Fast and the Furious is like this it's all about the family. I can't do a Vin Diesel. A Vin Diesel. Uh, it's all about the family. It's all about the family. It's all about family. It's all about family. I can't do it. I can't do Vin Diesel. But that's what these books are about. It's about family and the family you create. Not just your own family blood relations, but the family you create. Your friends. And the people you'll die for, and that's what these guys are. And then, and then it boils, and then it even boils down into a, a more, a more um, personal thing where the twins, Caramon and Raceland, you know, they have to sort of not spoilery stuff, but the whole ser the whole second trilogy is about this dilemma of are they going to sacrifice each other for their different go differing goals? And the differing goals are, do I sac Coramon, the, the muscle-bound fighters, do I sacrifice my brother for to save humanity? And Raceland's dilemma is, do I sacrifice my muscle-bound brother so I can become a god? Um, and that's kind of where we're at. And once they get back, once they, about halfway through the book, you know, we've got the setup, about half of this book is the setup of all of the characters, and then about halfway through the book, the time travel, they get travel back into time, they get put back into an era of gladiators, and like Roman Colosseums, and things like this, and uh, they can tell they're in a more ancient version of their, of their world, and they got to deal with all of that, and they are just freaking out. And they then then they've got the love triangle between. I don't know if it's really a love triangle, but they've got this dynamic between Chrysania, Raceland, 
and Caramon, you know, there's, I, I like these covers. Let's, let's end the book with another look at the covers, right? Um, so book one, we've got Crisania and Raceland, the mage. Book two, we've got Crisania and Coromon, the fighter. And then in book three, we've got Raceland and Coromon, the brothers, with a storm of Bruin behind him. Oh, yeah. So let's give Time of the Twins, Dragonlance Legends, book one, one of my most anticipated books and reads when I was a child. And I just reread it and just was once again taken magically taken to uh, the world of Dragonlance, and I loved every minute of it. I, I give this a 9.5 out of 10. These books are freaking dope!